Now when we're checking for pushrod length, we're looking for a length where the roller will have the least amount of travel forward and backwards as it goes, you know, operates through lift. We don't want to have it swinging from one edge of the valve all the way to the other because that's putting a side load pushing back and forth on the valve stem and can lead to premature valve train wear, especially the guides. Now here we'll show an example of what this too short of a push rod looks like going through lift. But the big problem here is that it actually hits the stud down here on the bottom. So I know that it needs to be a longer push rod right off the bat, but this was just something I had laying around for making an example. So we get the rocker adjusted till there's zero lash in it. That way it can you know we're making contact pressure as we turn it through lift here. And just watch the roller and how it travels across the tip of that valve as I cycle the engine around. You'll see that it goes from being close to center to actually traveling towards the outside of the valve there. And it actually moves quite a bit across the valve. That's what we're trying to avoid as far as getting correct push rod length. Now here's an example of too long of a push rod. As you can see, it's significantly longer. The rocker arm is tilted at an awkward angle where it's actually facing downward. And this one's going to actually make a big sweep where it pulls it back across the valve towards the rocker stud. And it's even more extreme as you watch here as it cycles around that it's basically using nearly the entire tip of that valve. As you can see here, I've tested three different lengths of push rod to kind of bracket and show more a better example of what being too short, just right, and too long ends up looking like as far as its travel across the tip of that valve. As you can see with the eight and a half inch push rod, we still had a fairly wide, but not really too bad pattern on the tip of that valve all the way to the left. But compared to the 8600, it is nearly twice as wide. The 8600 in the green there is a pretty ideal length for the push rod, as you can see, it's also centered on the valve as well as being a narrow strip. With the 8700, while it is still a small pattern of travel across the valve, definitely not on center and therefore less ideal than the 8600.